Somewhere at the edge of the map, you'll find a set of 170 islands, fairly unknown, incredibly picturesque, and surrounded by blue-ass water. But the reason this remote spot needs to be on your travel list are the amazing locals hiding just below the surface. Oh, it just, that, this is why you come here. This is why you travel halfway around the world. Welcome back, my fellow adventurous adults, and welcome to Tonga, more specifically, Vavau, which I'm hoping I'm pronouncing right, and I'm probably not, so I'm sorry about that. We're on the island. I've got to make sure that I'm not exposing myself here. <laughs> But I've got one day to explore here by myself before I join a group for one of the main reasons that you come here. While I am gonna go out and find some breakfast, I'll probably just do a little bit of a voiceover and tell you guys about this island and what there is to know. The Kingdom of Tonga is located in the Southern Pacific Ocean, about two thirds of the way from Hawaii to New Zealand. It's made up of more than 170 islands, of which 52 are inhabited. Religion is a major part of daily life here. Nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, is open on Sundays. The two official languages are Tongan and English, and it has some of the clearest, I mean, bluest as water I've ever seen. There are piglets everywhere, which I loved. But the main reason this needs to be on your travel list are the humpback whales that migrate here to breed and bear their young between June and November. They're just standing here looking at this incredible view. And I can see whales in the distance. Tiny, tiny. It's amazing. Well, I feel like every place we stop at is more beautiful than the last. Ah, the water just has the most incredible color. And it just all feels like deserted island vibes. I love it. The only thing that makes you realize it's not is the fact that there is trash everywhere on the beach. But you gotta reduce, reuse, and recycle. That was a super fun day exploring. It's definitely not a budget destination, I will tell you that. One, it's very expensive to get here, and then overall the prices here are pretty comparable with what I would pay at home. Tomorrow, I'm heading off. I already saw them today from the cliff, which was amazing but for the next couple of days, I get to go swimming with them, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. The next day, it was time to join the small group I booked with, and we set off to the island where we would be staying for a week. And it was paradise. It took me 36 hours of travel to get here. And if you're curious as to what that looks like, I'll link the video for that vlog right here for you. But I made it. There are different options for exploring Tonga, um, and they range from more budget to kind of treat yourself, which I actually opted for the treat yourself option, which means that I am here with a very small group and we are on a private island and well, this is my cabin, so I will give you guys a tour real fast. And just remember that I sold my house to be able to do this, so, you know, this is all totally self-funded and not at all sponsored. All right, I know that I usually do the budget thing because I wanna get as much travel for my money as I possibly can. It's definitely one of those bucket list trips, and yeah, it's absolutely amazing. All right, I'm gonna show you guys around my little hut that I'm staying in with this amazing view right behind me. The ocean is right there. The water is absolutely insane. This hut right here with all my crap everywhere. I should have cleaned that up before, but I didn't. And this amazing bathroom. And things are solar powered. And yeah, I'm just, ugh. 
This beautiful piece of paradise was our home for nine days, but adventure is the name of the game. And swimming with humpback whales is why we came all this way. Good morning and welcome to what I like to call bucket list adulting, which basically just means you get up at ridiculously early hours to do cool shit. All right, the sun is up, as you can see. That is the boat we are about to get on. Um, I've got to grab all my gear, which includes this heavy ass thing. And we are now going to get on the boat and head out. Guys. The search begins. Basically, we just go out and about looking for whales, which is never, never a bad start to the day. Our days were spent for about six hours a day scanning the ocean for any sign of whales. Some days were beautiful, smooth sailing, and In other days, it's not so much like that. Pretty windy really cold when you get out of the water. But we were always in the trusted hands, or feet, of our captain. But all the waiting pays off just spotted a whale so now it's time to get ready and dress. Once we know that the whales aren't moving away from us or they've gotten used to us then you have to get dressed very quickly and as soon as we're good to go you get in the water and you should get in as gently and quietly as possible because you do not want to scare them. swimming by, you can see the mom and the baby, and oh, it just, that, this is why you come here, this is why you travel halfway around the world. I don't even have any words, I'll just blabble on, so I'll end it right there. Until next time, forget to one another, forget to our planet, and keep adventuring.